I love Christmas, it's my favourite time of the year. I love everything about it, from putting on my Christmas decorations to opening my event calendar. But the thing I love the most is having my friends over to enjoy a few drinks and to have some great Christmas food. So today I'm going to show you how you can make a Christmas dinner for less than £5 a head. You might not think that you can cook Christmas dinner for that amount of money, but I bought all this for me and my five friends for £30. Now obviously the centre of every great Christmas dinner is a roast, and I'm going to be showing you how to make a chicken roast with all the trimmings. I'm also going to be showing you a great way of how to make um, your sprouts actually taste really nice with some bacon. And I've got some vegetarian friends coming over, so we're going to be making a lovely nut roast. For dessert, what we're going to do is we're going to be making an apple and cinnamon crumble with some ice cream. And I've got some really lovely nice apples here. My flat's really quite small, so what we're going to be doing for our starters is just having some nibbles with um, some bruschetta, some tomatoes and some olives. And then we're also going to be making an apple and cinnamon punch. Now because everyone's going to be arriving at different times, I'm not going to be making a starter for people to have at the table. Instead, we're going to be making some bruschetta. To start with, just drizzle some olive oil over the bread, and grab some of the garlic and just rub it over the bread. Next, just add a handful of um, a handful of tomatoes. Now we're going to be making a mixed um, a mixed batch. We're going to be making it with olives and also with uh, some onions. Then just pop it in your oven ten minutes before your guests arrive. Can you guys like some bruschetta? I also like to serve a nice warm drink for everyone to enjoy from the cold. It's really easy to make. Warm some apple juice or cider in a pan with some chopped oranges, cloves and cinnamon sticks. So obviously the things that are going to take the most amount of time are the chicken and vegetables. So we're going to start by chopping a few of them. Um, I've got my potatoes here. And we're just going to basically just chop these into halves and then quarters. I'm not peeling my potatoes just because I like the skin on them and I think they really crisp up nice in the oven. I also think that it's going to save a lot of time as well instead of having to peel so many potatoes for about five people. I'm going to be coating vegetables with a really nice honey glaze and I'm going to be leaving the vegetables to be quite chunky just so that they can really absorb some of the lovely sweetness. I'll put these on the side and we'll get ready for the chicken. I'm going to be doing a really simple chicken and we're going to be stuffing it with some clementines, onion and garlic. We're going to be using half of the onion as the base for the dish for the chicken to lie on top of and the other half we're going to be using as the stuffing. So what we're going to do is just hold the legs like this and we're just going to stuff it with everything. A real mixture of different flavours. And then we're just going to stick this in the dish on top of the onions. What's good to do now is just to add some little extra olive oil. So once that's done, just pop the chicken into the oven. We've preheated this at 200 degrees. Put it onto the middle shelf just so it can cook a lot easier. And then previously what I've done is I've put a tray with some olive oil and salt and these are going to be to put our vegetables in. Now to make our sprouts a little bit more interesting, I'm going to saute mine with some bacon. Now once that's nicely bubbling away, what you have to do now is just add some leeks to your hands. Once the leeks are you can add the sprouts. We're going to just be adding half in, half in each pan again. Now while the chicken and the vegetables are in the oven, we're going to be making a head start on the dessert. Uh, so for my crumble topping, we've got the, um, we've got the sugar and we've also got the flour and the butter. We're just going to add these to the bowl and mix. It's really important just to kind of grab it in between your hands. It's 
So once it's ready, the mixture should look like breadcrumbs, but I like to leave a few little chunky buttered bits just for added crunch. So now that's done, we're going to move on to the apples. We're going to be peeling them and then we're going to be coring them and we're going to be cutting them into one centimetre slices. I have this lovely little dish which we're going to be putting it in. Just grab a load of apples, sprinkle them all around the dish. And now I have a couple of handfuls of sultanas, one tablespoon of plain flour, two tablespoons of sugar and a dusting of cinnamon. And then add your crumble. Pop into them for 30 to 40 minutes until it's golden on top. So there it is, a simple but gorgeous three cost dinner for less than £5 per person. Grab some friends, get cooking and remember your Christmas jumpers!